Hey folks, this is Saint Chan. In today's episode, I wanted to ask my friend Fernando here, Hola. who is a real Mexican, the what the dating life is like here in Mexico. While my country of expertise is Colombia, I've been going there for over 10 years now. I wanted to spend more time in the country of Mexico, which is where I'm at with him right now in the city, the resort city of Veracruz. And um, I wanted to spend more time in this country, in this country, starting uh, early, late last year with Mexico City and then Cancun and now Veracruz this time. And I think this country is interesting because it's a lot like Colombia because it's it's cheap. Do you agree? Yeah. And do you think um, it's cheaper than Colombia generally? I think it's a little more cheap in Colombia. It's a little cheaper. A little cheaper in Colombia, but Mexicans and Colombians, we are very similar. Also, Mexicans and Colombians, we are a good friends, you know? We are good, um, we have too much, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, Things in common? Sí, mucho, muchas cosas en común, sí. Okay. Muy y, similares, very similar. ¿Puedes dar algunos similar. ejemplos? Okay. I mean, uh, can, can you give me some examples? <laughs> <laughs> you see? You speak Spanish very okay, well. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, about our country, is very, very similar. You know, uh, Cartagena, uh, the, the beaches, you know, the beach. Um, food, what else? Uh, we talk about crazy things, you football. know, football, oh yeah, we are fan of footballs, but I think it's, football is in Mexican Colombia, it's in general, and we are very celosos with football, you know, Jealous. We, yeah. we cry, uh, we're yeah, yeah. very happy with our team win, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. Right, but I also think that the Mexicans, and especially the Mexicans and um, Colombians, um, of course, you have some people that just like to drink and become all sad and depressed. But generally, I think they are very, they have a good attitude to life and family. Do you think so? Sí. Um, we just say something important, right? Drunk, because in my case, I don't really like drink too much, you know. I drink a couple of beers, yeah, but not like, uh, and I cry, <laughs> and no, I'm depressive, you know. But in United States, many of my paisanos drinking a lot. And drinking a lot because the first thing is the family. Always, hey, what happened? Oh, I'm drinking because I miss my mom, I miss my, my kids, I miss my wife, I miss my dad, my brother. You know, that's the first thing always. When I, somebody's drinking a lot, sometimes it's because they miss the family. It's the family. Yeah. Okay. So, folks, I'm, uh, as I try to teach men about life options and how to have a good life and a happy life and a, um, you know, a life, you know, with people and people that you love and care about, one thing I'm going to start talking about soon is how important family is. And not just family, your own family, but your parents, especially if your parents are not messed up and if they are good, loving parents, because this is a treasure. Es, es un tesoro. You, you, it doesn't matter how much money you have. You can't buy it. It doesn't matter if you have a billion dollars. If you have a good relationship with your parents and your family, this is the real wealth in life. This is the treasure. You can't buy it. You can't buy one more minute yeah. with, with, of, of life on this planet with your parents. So I understand the United States perspective of you know, being independent, uh, getting your own apartment. And, but I think that, uh, more in a future video, but I think that that, uh, that plan, no, no sirve. It doesn't work. It doesn't serve many, many people, especially average earning people in the United States of America uh, nowadays, right? And, you know, he, he's Latino, uh, he lives in Mexico, I've lived in Colombia, lived in the United States, and I'm Asian, half, half Southeast Asian, half Chinese, and we also understand the importance of family. And the only people that somehow seems to 
think that uh, only culture I know of that somehow thinks seems to think that oh, living at home with your parents is a bad thing. And I'm here to tell you, for a lot of men, especially men making average money, and especially if your family and that you guys work well together, you're better off together than you are apart. And it's only because of American and Westernized programming, and also maybe the the, the modern culture making fun of people uh, of men who live with their families that that's a problem. But in other cultures, in South America, in Central America, in the Caribbean, in in um, in, in Mexico, Central America, Asia, we're looking at you Americans like you're you're freaking crazy. I saw something different about family in the United States. Please explain what you saw. Okay. Uh, Americanos lost family very fast. Like 16, 17, the, the kids ran by itself, you know? Like Latinos, most of Latinos. It's like my case, you know, 40 years old, I'm still live with my parents. I'm so happy, you know, mm -hmm. I have a really nice relationship with my parents, with my brother, so... And you all live, um, you have a brother in the, U in the U.S., mm -hmm. but everyone else lives in the same roof. Yeah, yeah. Um, I live in my house, and I mean, my parents' house, you know. I okay. have my house, I have my, I buy my, my house because I send my money, you know. And I buy my house, I have my old house, but I'm so happy to live with my parents, you know. After 15 years, I didn't see them. So now every morning we take a breakfast, you know, at the afternoon we have a dinner. At night we have a, a coffee, you know, we talking about all the time. So I understand many people don't have a good relationship with his parents or family. But in my case, it's like, I, I really, really, really right. want li to stay live with my parents. I'm for, so happy. And for all you guys, um, and uh, talking about girls in li growing up in Western and American culture, a lot of the women there are taught to not value their family, to value their independence more Very than the young. family. Very, Very young. young. And a Very lot young. of... And, that's why I want to start talking about Mexico because a lot of the girls there, they think like this guy does, where the family, the nuclear family, parents included, is still the thing of primary importance in life, where that is where, especially if your parents are not effed up, okay, that that is the real wealth, the, the kind of um, thing that makes life worth living you should be able to share with people that love you and you love them take care of them when they took care of you they care each other take care of each other because um yeah that's been ruined in the united states of america so that thing with that that commonality with the mexicans with the colombians and even a lot of the asians it's like nope the family stays together unless Unless, you know, some special circumstances. If the family is good, we freaking stay together. And for a lot of the average guys out here in the United States making average money, the system of sending you to go be independent, rent your own apartment, it keeps you poor forever. Yeah. Forever. All your money is done. 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 Right? Because you pay your rent, but the next day, the rent start again. Yep. Next end of the month, the, the owner come. Hey, I come for my rent. And is your wallet is here. Right. And uh, I'll talk about that more in a future episode. But uh, yeah, I think that a lot of men in America would be very well served by looking at what the immigrants do, looking at what other people in other cultures do. Because to live by yourself in the USA is getting more expensive. It's getting harder and harder. The cost of rent is going up faster than your paycheck, and you really have no economic future unless you make a different plan. So back to the, the, the mm -hmm. rent always, every time, all the time is go up. You pay 
Today you pay, uh, just for a number, you pay a thousand dollars, okay? But in one year you pay now twelve thousand dollars. And little by little is the rent is go up, up, yeah. go up. And the only win here is the owner. Yeah, yeah, and, and there, there, was, there was a great New York politician um, called uh, Jimmy McMillan, and he ran on, um, you know, the rent is too damn high. Okay, and the, the, the Cantonese version is, Seriously, la renta es demasiado alto, okay? No bueno. And uh, anyway. doesn't matter. <laughs> if you don't have me for rent, no problem. The owner say, okay, get out of here. Behind you is somebody say, hey, I have the money, I'm here. Okay, so now with understanding that the Mexicans and the Colombians and also the, the Mexican women think a lot about their family and, you know, that part of life in Mexico is not ruined the way it is in the United States. Um, I wanted to talk to, to guys more about Mexico because Colombia is very far from a lot of the United States of America. It's on a completely different continent. What, what, what do you mean, sorry? Okay, it's so far? Far. Yeah, because people living in California, yeah. trying to get to Colombia is a very, they very... They pass away in Mexico. Yeah. But, they pass... but, it, but in Mexico, it's just south of the border. It's close to everyone. And people in Mexico are, are more or less used to seeing Americans. Because, you know, they a lot of people have traveled to Mexico. They travel back. You know, Mexicans fly into Mexico City and Cancun and Tulum and um, and all these places. So it so it's it's there's some familiarity there. Places for Americans, you know, because yeah. if you go to Cancun, it's expensive. Uh, you know, right? Here. But but what I mean is there are established places here where Americans are not like aliens. They won't look mm. at you like. Like, you know, like I went to Colombia the first time. I was the first Asian a lot of these people have ever seen <laughs> in their whole life, okay? It's like people, um, like my friend, he went to China a couple months ago. All people from China, they want to take a, a, a selfie with him. They say, hey, can I take a picture with you? Where do you, where do you come from? Oh, I come from Mexico. Oh, very interesting, yeah, you yeah. know? There are places where some races of men have never been to before. And for most Americans, Mexico is not one of them. Okay? It's, I think, the, to get used to life in Mexico is easier than getting to life in Colombia. Well, Mexico is more... It's my country, so I'm born here. So for me, it's easy to move. Uh, mostly, mostly everything for everything, you know? Okay. When I went to Colombia with you, it was a little difficult. I mean, yeah. we speak the same it, language. It was, it was difficult for you know a Latino who speaks native Spanish to go to Colombia, and it was a bit of a uh, adjustment. What does it mean? Ajustar. Okay. Tu viste que ajustar con la gente, sí, con todo. Con todo. Con todo. So, so that's why, while I love Colombia, for for various reasons, it's not so easy to just go and move there for your average American. I think that Mexico might be a bit more easy for, for, for a lot of people, right? Especially for those people who um, are not used to traveling internationally and are not like crazy like me, right? People from the United States love Mexico, you yeah, know? They because just love we have Mexico. a lot of activities and also we have all weathers. Uh -huh. If you go to Cancun, uh, always is summertime. If you go to the north, Always cold. De depend I mean, depends what part of Mexico you, you come from. And I think it has a lot to offer for people. Mm -hmm. And because it's cheap, um, they can possibly do what you do, which is, you know, s earn dollars, save, uh, save dollars, but buy in Mexico with a plan to retire or move or live or vacation to... Because the change is... Yeah. It's very, very, very loud. So, yeah. It's good. It's good. Maybe that's why, maybe uh, a lot of Mexicans, or, or not just Mexican, right? Just all South America, uh, Colombians, Nicaragua, Salvador, they want to go to United States because it's 
you make good money. Mm -hmm. I love dollars. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> me too. So, uh, can you tell me about the women in Mexico? Talking about what? What do you know about? Yeah, ladies? what is um, you know, if, if there's a guy who who's maybe considering vacationing to or retiring to in Mexico, um, what are the girls like? Um, First thing, a good corazón. You know, don't try to be a tommy guy with them. You know, to, try to, to what? a tonto. Don't don't. Like, don't want to play with them. Silly, with, yeah. Don't, yeah, be, don't you know? be silly, yeah. Exactly. Don't play. Just something serious and just say the truth. That's it. Yeah. But yeah. Mexicanas, no, is they are not very interested in how much money you have. They just want to find a good man, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. And that's interesting because uh, on my episode about Colombia, I, um, I, I, there was an episode I did with like, are Colombianas only interested in your money? And my okay. conclusion was, nope, that's, that's, there are some gold diggers, of course, everywhere, every country you will find gold diggers, but generally they are not just after your money, not at all. They're looking for a, a good man. And a lot of those are, there's a shortage of that. I would ask says that, you know, good hombres, good guys in Latin American countries like Colombia, like in Mexico. When you find a, a girl and you talk, you talk with her, the first thing she said is, respetame, respect, you know? Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. Always they say, okay, you want something with me? Okay, just respetame, just respect. Right, and I wanted to also contrast that to dating in America, and I talk about this in Colombia too. I've never had to play games dating Latinas, always, straightforward, truthful, you set expectations. And I've never felt like I've had to play games. And like he said, most of them, a lot of them that you come across just have good hearts. They're good girls. And when you meet them, you want the best for them. You don't, you know, you don't come away with the, even if you don't have chemistry, you don't come away with the experience of F this, you know, she's such a biatch and like, no, no, just like, Okay, cool. Maybe we don't get along, but I wish the girl, you know, good for her. Maybe, you know, I think she'll make a man very happy one day. Maybe just not for me. And the women are just not bad. One more thing about that. All right. Okay. I, I'm too. Yeah. Okay, go on. Okay. Whatever. If you want to play with, with a girl, it's the same. Just say to him, you know why? I don't want nothing serious for now. But I want to have something for with you, and maybe they, she understand and she say, okay, why not? Just play, you know, play mommy and daddy, and that's it. Just one night, two nights, okay, forget about it, and that's it. But it's just, just say the truth. That's mm -hmm. it. If you say the truth, she understand, and it's, it's never gonna be a problem. Okay. Generally, do Mexican men? have problems dating with girls? Los Mexicanos muy infidelidad, ¿cómo se dice? Infidelity? Yeah. Infidelity is like a sport, like in, most, sí. like in most Latin American countries. But I think because they meet the same, same girls, you know, it's like, uh, okay, I'm Mexican, I'm looking just for a Mexican girls, and it's, 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 uh, it's the same, but when you meet a, a girl from different place, different country, different language, you're going more astray. You want something serious. Mm. So it's, it's okay. interesante. It's interesting. So for the, for the Americans, do you think Mexico is a good place to find a wife? I think all places is good for, for looking a wife, you know? Depends what do you want. I mean, I am Mexican, but... I want to marry with a Colombiana, you know? All right. But let's say that you didn't know about Colombia, right? What would you say about the, the women? Like, are they, are they looking for, a, a lot of them, are they looking for a long-term relationship? Are they looking to build something with a man? Um, give us your thoughts. I'm just looking at a good girl, you know? I don't want to play with, with her. 
I want a girl tell me every weekend, hey, what's up? You don't, it's viernes, it's Saturday. I want to go to dance, you know? Okay, okay. I want something fun. Okay, so you can, you can definitely find girls who are just looking to have fun here in this country. In this country. Of course, yeah. right? But um, do you have problems meeting Colombiana, uh, meeting Mexican girls in Mexico no, as a Mexican? No, no, no. no it's, I mean, it's my language, it's my, my people, you know. It's, I know everything about Mexico, so it's easy to get a conversation, to talk with with a girl and to know whether she like it, you know? Okay. And, um, yeah, do you, th do, you, do you think they're friendly? I am very friendly. I no, think the I, girls, the girls. Oh, the friend. If the girls, is, they are friendly. In general. Yeah, general. Very, very, very friendly. Very yeah. friendly. Yeah. If right. you say hi, they say hi. <laughs> yeah, like um, my first time in Veracruz, like last night, I was asked by... Three girls to dance. Oh, exactly. That, that's a good, a good, uh, a up, good point. Yeah, it's a good point. Uh, we went. You, you, we are just watching the the show. Come the girl, come with you. Hey, uh, do you want to dance with me? Yeah. You dance with her, and it, it's it's friendly, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's nothing bad, mm -hmm. you know. And um, yeah, I just so far this country is still a little bit new to me, but I I got nothing. Uh, to complain about with the girls, and um, I think it's uh, how are they different than the women than the American women you met in the United States? Spanish? No, the the Mexican girls. The Mexican compared girls compared to like to, American girls. To American girls? How are they different? Uh, Mexicanas más calientes, I think. <laughs> okay, what does that mean in English? Uh, Mexicans, they are hot. Okay. You no, know, they are. I like. It. Okay. All right. That's that's totally fair. Pero so, pero Americans, I like Americans. You know why? With Americans, they go to the point. It's not too much. Give a big circle to go to the something. I I, I don't know how to explain. Just okay. American is like okay. I wanted this and I wanted this and go to the point. Okay. You know? So. Um, Without making it too long, I just wanted to explain that um, to men here that you don't have to date only in your home countries, especially if you are having a lot of, lot of trouble there, okay? Things are still between men and women. Well, yes, there's a lot of infidelity, but the, the, the relations between the, the two sexes, it's not terrible. And for you know an average uh, Mexican guy to, to an Asian guy to just, just your average American guy, just south of the border of the country where we live, there are millions and millions more potential options. So um, yeah, you don't have to be living a life of quiet desperation and, and, and in loneliness. And um, you know, international dating and you know, possibly moving in, in the future to a different place that has a friendlier social climate with different types of women might be for you, right? Um, anything is possible. And we hope that this video has been informative in opening your eyes and helping you to realize that outside of your home country, outside your backyard, outside of your city, there is a whole, Go world, a whole world of potential women for you to meet, right? Right. Go Anything outside, else? you know, have fun and talk too much with somebody and watch the video all right. to learn. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is Saint Chan signing off, reminding us all to always cogitate and analyze.